Hey Shane, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use your new Osprey adjustable razor. First I'm going to unbox the Osprey with you and show you what to expect when your new Osprey arrives. And I'll take it out and show you how to initially set up your Osprey. I'll give you some tips about the shave levels and how to adjust during your shave. I'll also teach you how to care for your Osprey. And finally I'll give you some tips and tricks for getting the best shaves of your life from your new Osprey razor. And if you have any questions, please shoot us an email to support at blackmanrazors.com. We'd be happy to help. This is what you'll receive when you get your brand new Osprey. We'll open it up, take a look inside. So first you'll have a nice care card. It gives you instructions on how to take care of your new Osprey. We'll go over more of that in this video. And then here, right on top, prominently displayed, is your brand new Osprey adjustable razor in all its glory. Now, of course, this top layer of foam is going to contain your razor itself. Before we take a razor out, let's first take a peek underneath and see what we have going on there. Here you will find your included five Persona Lab Blue double-edged blades. It comes with every DE razor we ship. And if you order one, you will also find your Osprey stand included here. And actually, let's talk about the stand real quick before we go over the razor itself. This right here. This Osprey stand features a male stud that goes into the bottom, the female part of the Osprey handle, showing off the Osprey uh, loud and proud. And new to a black land stand, we have these feet on the bottom, and that helps water drain from the Osprey and uh, makes the stand grip a bit better in your countertop so water doesn't pool underneath it. For now, let's put that back in the, st back in the foam. And let's talk about the razor itself. So we'll remove it from its foam, set that aside. Now when you receive your Osprey, you will of course receive it fully assembled with the handle insert included and fully screwed in. The razor will also be set to setting one, its lowest setting, and will be fully assembled. Now let's take a time to disassemble the Osprey. We'll talk about the components and some things you need to know as you uh, prepare for your first shave with the Osprey. So the Osprey assembles and disassembles like any three-piece razor. You have your top cap, your base plate, and your handle. And it accepts a standard M5 thread. So you can install your own handle with the Osprey if you prefer. The top cap otherwise is pretty standard. It features these blade tabs for maximum blade mounting and accepts a DE blade in the way you'd expect a top cap to, which we will go over in a second. For now, we'll set that aside and we'll talk about the base plate assembly. Now, the base plate is where all of the adjustment mechanism takes place. You can see here it's set at setting one. And as we rotate, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Now there is something I want to talk about with the base plate assembly, and that is when it is disassembled, the top plate movement here. Now when you first get your Osprey, this might strike you as concerning or nerving, but this is perfectly normal. The Osprey base plate is not meant to be fully locked down until all the components are assembled. That is the top cap and the handle are fully locked down. Then this sits perfectly flush. All three of those pieces are needed for the top plate to be aligned properly. And so you will not see this movement when the razor is installed. But it's important to know that when you receive this razor, this might be unnerving to you. It is perfectly part of the design. It is not a flaw or a defect. And it does not have anything to do with the actual alignment of the safety bar during the shave, as we will show you in a second. For now, let's crank this knob back down to setting one. And we will show you how to adjust it with the handle installed. Now the handle serves as a very important part of the adjustment mechanism for the Osprey. It serves to lock in the adjustment, preventing unwanted movement during a shave. And so you have to loosen the handle slightly. And we'll bump up to setting three and simply tighten it back down. This prevents adjustment from happening accidentally or being bumped mid shave. And you can see here that the blade gap is perfectly even and the safety bar cannot be bumped out of misalignment. So that wobble that we saw when the base plate was disassembled is completely gone when the razor is assembled. 
You'll notice that on the underside of the base plate, we have these scallops on both sides. That's to aid in grip so that you can pinch the head like this, loosen, adjust your desired gap, choose level five, tighten back down. Those scallops are there so that you can easily do this mid shave or between passes and it adds another layer of security and stability to your shave. If we want to max out all the way to setting nine, there is a hard stop here, so you cannot go beyond setting nine. Level nine is the maximum you can choose for your Osprey. But importantly, the Osprey is infinitely adjustable between these settings. So if I choose here, setting 8.5, or I can choose level, you know, 5.4 or so, You'll note that the arrow on this side indicates the shave level. Important, this side, the Blackland side, does not indicate the shave level that you've chosen. You need to choose your shave level based off this arrow. And the arrow, as you'll see, always sits right on top of the number. And that helps you know what shave level you're at. So we're at level two here. Now let's talk about the handle and how to use it properly. In its basic configuration, fully assembled, the Osprey handle is like any other handle. You simply thread it on and off through the standard M5 by 0.8 millimeter thread here. As you can tell, it's a full hollow handle that allows it to be inserted over the male post of the stand. So the Osprey can stand loud and proud and you have no risks of scratching the bottom of the Osprey handle. But of course, this handle insert is fully removable so that you can adjust the weight and feel of your shave and also so you can clean deeply inside this razor. To remove the handle insert, you'll simply wanna take a long and relatively small flathead screwdriver like this one. Any one will work. And you will insert it through the bottom and simply unscrew and insert will slide right out. This insert is solid brass, and this particular insert weighs about 17 grams. We may make additional inserts that will change depending on the insert you own. And there is a recess here for a flathead screwdriver. With the insert removed, you can see that that hole actually goes all the way through. And that is because this male thread on the brass insert goes nicely into the same M5 threaded hole. It just happens to obviously go in from the other side. That makes this part very simple and very reliable. And so if you want to insert it, we recommend starting it here. It's a little bit easier if you apply your flat head now and then insert it fully, tighten as normal. And it's very important to note that you do not need to over tighten this Barely snug is plenty for this particular razor. Of course, you risk damaging the brass insert if you over tighten. Um, so there's no need for that. So just tighten until it's in there firmly and no more so. Brass is pretty soft metal, so you can damage the threads if you force it. You can also damage the area for the flat head to sit if you are misaligned. So do your best to align that perfectly and don't apply too much pressure there. Okay, so let's go ahead and install a blade. Now, like we said, the Osprey assembles like any three-piece razor. We have our blade here. It slides right over the post onto the blade tabs as you'd expect. We take our base blade assembly, slide it right over, and we have our handle tightening down. And that's at level two. You can obviously choose your shave level before you assemble the razor or while it's assembled, again, by slightly loosening the handle and retightening. You don't need to crank down this handle too much. Just snug like any other razor is perfectly adequate until the blade is fully seated. You'll see this razor has incredible edge to edge blade clamping. And again, we wanna use the arrow side for indicating our shave level. Removing the blade is just like any other DE razor. We disassemble, put 
it over. So before we start shaving with the Osprey, first I want to teach you how to care for it. Now, between each shave, you'll want to loosen the handle slightly. We want airflow to come between the blade and the razor parts. That's gonna prevent tea staining. Alternatively, you can take the entire razor apart and dry off the blade. I know some of you are very diligent, um, but if you're a little bit lazy like me, you can simply loosen up the handle. What we want is for the blade to dry between shaves. So shake out that water, rinse it all off, and loosen up the handle a bit. It's also a good idea if you're using shave level one or maybe even level two, that you open up the blade gap a bit, increase the shave level, that's gonna let more airflow between those parts. It's another way to safeguard against any sort of staining or corrosion in the long term and keep your razor functioning and looking great. Now, periodically, you're going to want to deep clean your Osprey. To do so, you'll simply take it apart, like any other razor. The top cap and base plate all just need to be washed with regular soapy water. We recommend against any sort of polishing unless your razor is already polished. Polishing compounds like Brasso and Barkeeper's Friend are abrasives. They will leave tiny micro scratches in the surface of your machined finished razor. So if that's not something you're looking for, you're gonna to want to avoid that. And we recommend simple dish soap and some warm water and a very soft cloth like a microfiber will do a great job. For getting into the nooks and crannies of the base plate, we recommend a cotton swab or a Q-tip. You're gonna to wanna to open up the shave level as high as you can go, and that'll allow you to access all those skeletonized areas on the underside of the base plate. For the handle, we recommend removing the brass insert for these deep cleaning procedures. The brass insert itself should be cleaned also with soapy water. If you want to remove the patina, then this is a case where Brasso or Barkeeper Strand might be a good idea to kind of freshen up that brass and to restore it to a beautiful like new condition. For the handle itself, you'll want to use again soapy water and a soft cloth to get all the outside of the razor. Those slots are perfect for Q-tips to access as well as the bottom of the handle itself. Once all the components have been washed and rinsed thoroughly, you'll want to let them air dry in a nice ventilated room. You can also wipe them dry with a soft towel. For long-term storage, we recommend disassembling the razor as much as possible and certainly storing it without a blade in it. That will prevent the tea staining. If you're going to be storing your razor for a long time, you're gonna to wanna to do a deep clean before you put it into storage. That will make sure that none of the leftover soap scum or any other sort of contaminants are left on the metal for an extended period of time. So as you prepare for your first shave with the Osprey, the biggest question you're going to have is which shave level should I choose to begin with? And so I'm gonna give you some quick guidelines on how to find that initial shave level and get you prepped for that first shave. If you're coming to the Osprey from a highly efficient razor, like say our own Blackbird or Blackbird Titanium, you're probably gonna to wanna to start with the Osprey around level six. That's not exactly analogous to Blackbird, but it's gonna give you a good starting point and you can always go up from there to increase to maybe a seven, eight, or a nine. But starting at a six is gonna give you good efficiency and a good balance of comfort and then you can adjust from there. If you are coming from a very mild razor, perhaps like our Sabre level one, then you might wanna start at shave level two. Level one is for the mildest of all shaves, so if you really prefer the mildest possible shave, like from a Gillette Tech, then level one might be a good place to start. And if you're coming at this from any other kind of mid-level razor, like a Sabre level two, or a Vector, maybe with a Pro Guard, or like a Mercur 34C, or a DE89, you're probably gonna to wanna to start around a level four. Level four is a spot where you're definitely not going to hurt yourself. You're gonna have a nice, smooth, comfortable shave at almost any level, except for the most mild fans. And from level four, you'll be able to tell if you need to step up to a five, six, or if you need to step back down to a two or three. Now, like with any new razor, we recommend trying the Osprey for at least five or 10 shaves to really get used to the technique it requires. But unlike the rest of our lineup, the Osprey is adjustable. So it's gonna to be tough, but you should try your best to stick with a setting or two and stick with it for as long as you can, at least a couple shaves before you adjust that dial to another level. Every level of the Osprey is like trying a completely different new razor. It requires a different shaving angle, different amount of pressure, and it has a different feel to it. So you want to adapt to it as much as possible. Now we're reasonable, we know you're gonna be wanting to play with that dial, so go ahead and try those different levels, but know that it's not gonna help you get used to any shave level. So you're trying to find the perfect level that gives you the right 
uh, balance of efficiency and comfort, then great. But if you're trying to find the right shave level because you're not getting a good shave at all, then you're probably gonna wanna spend more time on a level four perhaps. If you can't get a great shave with one of those mid levels, then it's a technique issue and less likely to be solved by changing the level. So try not to touch that dial as best you can. I know it's tempting and stick with the Osprey for at least several shaves before you really get a sense of how it feels to make sure that you are adapting your technique to the razor and not the other way around. Okay, it's time to shave with the Osprey. First thing I wanna mention is you should start with a blade that you know and love. Every Osprey ships with five Persona Lab Blue blades. We love those blades, but you do not have to use them. In fact, I'd prefer if you don't use them if you've never used them before. Choose a blade that you know and love. You wanna reduce the variables so that you know that your technique is the problem and not the blade choice. So do not start with a brand new blade that you have never used before. Stick something that's tried and true. So load up the Osprey with your favorite blade of choice and start with whatever level you think is appropriate based on your previous experience with razors. Once you've picked that level, try to stick with it through that entire first shave. Now, shaving with the Osprey is just like shaving with any other three-piece razor. It's part of what makes the Osprey such an awesome product. The Osprey works at a wide range of angles. We recommend starting with a slightly shallow angle, that is with the top cap closer to your skin. Now, this doesn't have to be quite as extreme as with the Blackbird, for example, but that's a good place to start. However, it works at a steep angle as well. So this gives you an opportunity to try different angles and find the one that works for you. Now, it's very important to note that when you adjust the shave level, your angle has to adjust as well. When we increase the blade gap, for example, we change the shaving angle because the shaving plane itself created between the top cap and the safety bar is also changing as the safety bar moves relative to the top cap. So you might find that a shallow angle works very well at the low levels, but a steeper angle might be better at the high levels. So as you change your level, make sure that your angle adapts with you. And the next thing to do is just try a bunch of stuff. You know, you wanna stick with something that's pretty tried and true at the beginning to really dial in your technique. But once you have that set after a few shaves, start playing with things. Play with the angle, take out that handle insert, try it with lighter weight, try it with more pressure, less pressure. The Osprey is a versatile, adaptable razor, and you can try it with many different techniques. So try different angles, try different blades, but only after you've found that you can get great shaves with the initial setup. Now, if you are using one of the lower shave levels, levels one, two, or three, you may find that the razor doesn't rinse quite as well because there is such a small gap between the safety bar and the blade itself. And one of the cool tricks of the Osprey is you can obviously increase that. So if you find that it's a little clogged up, especially on that first pass, if you have a lot of growth, just go ahead and bump up the shave level for a quick second loosen the handle, get a good rinse, that'll help you clear everything out. And then you can reset your shave level back to where you were, tighten it back up and continue on. Okay, I hope these tips and tricks help you have an incredible first experience with your new Osprey and that the Osprey gives you incredible shaves for many years. This is a product that we're incredibly proud of and I'm thankful to you for giving the Osprey a try. If you have any questions about your Osprey or anything else, you can leave a comment below or you can shoot us an email to support at blacklandradios.com. We'd be happy to help. Until then, we hope you enjoy your Osprey. Thank you.